Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be analyzing the brand new world record set by Corbanos in Minecraft 1.16 speedrunning. Now, this run is absolutely insane. If you do want to go check out Corbanos, I have linked his stuff in the description. I believe he has an analysis coming up from his own perspective on his YouTube channel, so make sure to go check that out. Also, I stream every single night on Twitch. If you're curious, I put the links once again in the description. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So, as you can see, he spawns in a plains biome with a roof forest around him. And to be honest, this doesn't look great, but he does find a savanna nearby. Now, why is the savanna good? Well, savannas are one of the three biomes that have villages that are very, very useful, being savannas, deserts, and plains. Why are they useful? Well, they have hay bales, and the other two, being snowy taigas and taiga villages, do not, which make them far less reliable to find food and to, to continue on with the run. Nonetheless, he does, he has, so he has some hope, is what I'm saying. Not a great initial spawn, but it does have hope. Which, and the important thing about 116 speedrunning is really about maximizing your nethers. So getting yourself into as many nethers as possible because you never know what will happen in the nether. The nether can really make or break a run even when you don't think it's a great run. Again, if we go back and look at DMAX's run, his enter nether time wasn't amazing. And also the nether itself didn't seem amazing until the very end when it really got crazy. Nonetheless, the point is you maximizing nethers is a really good way to reliably get good times, like long term, not short term. And you can't expect any specific run to be great. But if you get into as many, if you give yourself as many chances as possible, if you get yourself into as many nethers as possible, that does increase your chance of getting an insane run like the one we were about to witness. So as you can see, he does find himself a village. Now, this is very good because now he has a chance to get beds, food, and of course, iron which is going to be good. And if you noticed, but I don't know if y'all noticed, but there was a tree on fire. Now a tree on fire indicates that there's a lava pool. Not always. Sometimes when a tree is on fire or a house on fire, it can be because of a lava fall instead of like a lava pool. But that is pretty rare. And generally you'll see the lava fall. Uh, it's, it's far less common. Now, as you can see, one interesting thing about this run is that he goes for the pick and hoe, uh, sorry, a second pick and a hoe, and he goes after, he crafts it after. Now, I like this. I mean, this is interesting. Now, I will say, I don't know if it's necessary in such a, when you're going for such a low time, I don't know if the extra pick is really needed. But nonetheless, this is just a different strategy. It's not really going to make that much of a difference. So he goes for more beds here, as you can see. So the red house is an important, important note. Uh, when you're going, it's, it's good to know which houses have chests and which houses have beds. Specifically, the ones with windows that are like a 3x3 three three interior with like a 5x5 five five exterior, the ones with windows do have beds, the ones without windows do not have beds. So there you go, there's a little tip. Also, the red houses specifically do not have, sorry, have chests. The yellow and orange houses that are that 5x5 five five do not have chests. So that's good. That's good to know. And that gives you a chance to find a bucket, which is very nice. Now you can see these houses also have beds, which are very, very useful, of course. But you can see the house to his right is a five by five, but it does not have the windows. Therefore, is not one of the chests, one of, not one of the houses you're looking for. So there's just a little tip. One, th I, these these houses are harder to identify which ones have houses because they're a lot more subtle. I will say, if you want to identify, if you want to go even further, the houses that have sort of the flat bark and windows, those ones do have chests. So one that have the turned bark, so you can see the or acacia and windows, those houses do not have uh, chests. So you can see this house here, the flat bark, that is going to have a chest. If it were to, if you were to be able to see the acacia, the orange wood part of the of the log, then that means it would not have a chest. Slightly off topic, but still relevant to the conversation. As you can see, the house to his right also has a bed, but he's not going to get it right away. You can see there is that lava pool up we were speaking of earlier, and he's going to start his portal. So, he is doing a pretty standard portal, nothing too crazy here. Let's see how this nether is, if it is something that is going to make a run. Well, I mean, I've, I, I feel like y'all can, can 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 guess that this nether is going to be probably pretty insane. Uh, he's starting to build his portal here. Not quite the most efficient way to build the portal, but that's quite picky. I mean, it's very easy. If you do so many portals, you're going to have some that aren't perfect, and you're, you know, you're going to mess up some other ones. That's fine, though. That's fine. Slightly, slightly off, but as you can see, more importantly, he spawns in a nether fortress. Now, this is... Pretty much a perfect spawn, I will say. I don't love this biome. Now, why do I not love this biome? Well, it's not the worst. It's definitely not the worst. The worst probably being either the Soul Sand Valley or the Basalt Delta. But the problem with this biome is it's kind of hard to find gold. And gold is something you do want to get a lot of, generally speaking. Now, I will say, for a top run, for a top run, it's probably not... You're probably... It doesn't really matter because you probably don't have to trade that much gold if you are going to get that Piglin RNG. 
but nonetheless it's not great generally speaking i like finding the nether wastes those are the best because there's lots of gold there's not too many other things there's there's enough pigmen taking up the mob cap that it doesn't flood you with wither skeletons so these biomes are probably the second best but they're definitely not perfect it's not a perfect nether spawn but it's nothing to be complaining about it is nothing to be complaining about basically what this means is that it increases the chance of getting messed up by piglin rng because it decreases your chance of finding a lot of gold which of course decreases your chance of getting pearls so he is mining out the portal here he has a slightly different strategy than i'm used to for using the for killing the blazes but i like it it's very nice it's going quite well here so he's got himself five blazes it's going great so far and as you can see the sixth one does not drop so unfortunately he can't leave quite yet now he is trying to find more gold and now as you can see there's more gold up there and like i said these biomes aren't great for finding gold because all the new uh, i'm not sure what it's called the nether grass I, I don't i'm not sure i forget exactly what it's called but the this this red sort of grass is covers up where the gold would be and so you don't have as much exposed uh, gold ore which obviously is not ideal now he's got himself a decent amount of gold so far but it's not crazy so it's not perfect but it's not a bad it's definitely not a bad amount hopefully this gold will trade off into enough pearls and he can leave with that so as you can see he is getting a little bit unlucky with the drops here he just needs one more to reliably leave and as you can see oh yeah he did get one right there so I will say, leaving with six. If you're going for a top time, this is probably this is this is this is good. If you're going for a slower time, maybe like a sub thirty, it might not be a bad idea to go for that seventh just to reliably get the to reliably get into the stronghold. I will say, leaving with eight is not generally really necessary. Maybe if you're really new to triangulation, it's not a bad idea to go with eight. But I will say, leaving with seven is pretty safe it is pretty safe and as you can see more importantly he gets pearls there so i really like the way that he's playing this he's trading with the piglins fighting off the blazes this is really sketchy but he's doing a fine job he's not choking this run whatsoever this god seed he's not choked at all so he's killing the blazes off trying to make it as safe for him and the piglin as possible he doesn't want the piglin to die because if the piglin dies that's that is his only piglin in sight so hopefully he'll get one more pearl trade and as you can see he gets the pearl trade but oh no the piglin's chasing him and this is not looking too good he's got the piglin chasing him do not choke this if he gets hit by the piglin he's dead but no he kills the piglin and he is out now he's uh, he's booking his way out here he's trying his best here grabs the pearls hopefully that is a solid trade hopefully it's not like a four trade or something but this is looking amazing so far he has a seven minute and 30 second exit this is unreal i've if i have a seven minute a entrance like this it's not a great entrance but it's not it's not terrible if i have blaze rods at this time i am hyped but to have pearls and blaze rods and leave the nether at this time is unheard of i've never seen a time even close to this this run went from very good to unreal in a span of three minutes it, it's just crazy to see that 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 those pearl trades were unreal he traded like five gold and got all the pearls he needed while being next to the blaze spawner unbelievable unbelievable another time so and that run, that is just making this run but more importantly let's see how this travel is now travel is really important you can have a really good exit time and get completely messed up by your uh, by your travel time to the stronghold and there's nothing you can do about it i've recently had so many runs so like 12 minute exits that i'm really excited about and then it's like 2,000 blocks away with like extreme hills and that just completely kills your run super frustrating nonetheless he's taking his boat and he's traveling in an ocean. This is perfect. This is the best biome to be in. I, this is an unreal seed so far. This seed initially looked so eh. It, was, it could be a seed to now being potentially the best seed ever found in a random seed glitchless 1.6 seed run. But let's see what he can do. So he's a little bit off. I, I generally like being a little... I think he's a little bit to the right here. He's turned a little bit wrong. But I will say... One thing is, you know, I can sit back here and criticize random little things, but if you're at this pace, you must be incredibly nervous. And so, I don't blame him for, maybe, he might even be trying to triangulate a little bit better. He might be trying to make up the time that he went to a little bit to the left to get into the ocean. I don't exactly know. Let's see what he can do. So, as you can see, he's going a little bit more to the left now. He's trying to see, he's using the strategy there, starting to use the strategy there, where you kind of use your mouse you, or you scroll up your mouse and you can see you can see underneath the water it's a little bit of a bug but this does not count as a glitch according to the rules so it's this is completely legal and he is on his way now this is 
a crazy pace. I mean, to be in the ocean at 9 minutes and 30 seconds and be traveling towards the stronghold is, I, it, this is crazy. He must be shaking. I would be shaking if I was, I mean, honestly, if I was at this pace twice, twice the time at this pace, I would probably be quite nervous. If I was around 20 minutes in an ocean like this, I would be quite nervous. Now, to be fair, my time is 20 minutes like 23 minutes so i mean that would definitely give me a chance but nonetheless he's at a crazy pace the point is he's at a crazy pace so let's see what if he can make this work he's got seven minutes and 20 seconds left to beat the world record can he do it he's still traveling in the ocean this ocean is huge and honestly initially the ocean didn't look that big but it really has opened up here to be quite uh, quite an, an amazing seed I mean, the seed is just unreal. The fact that there's the blaze spawner right there and uh, also this this ocean here that's the closest stronghold is 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 mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing, but he's doing a great job. He's got plenty of pearls. He's got plenty of time. Can he make this work? So he's traveling still. He's a little going a little bit off to the left here. He's still not found the stronghold, so it is a little bit far out, I, I suppose, but it, it's fine. It's fine to be traveling in the ocean is fine, and there we go. There is the stronghold. At 10 minutes and 53 seconds, he's found the stronghold. Now, the question is, can he find the portal room? So no. So one thing about the portal rooms is that when they're underwater, they do tend to light up because they have windows and the lava inside illuminates it. So you can generally see it pop out. Now, if you don't see that, that generally means that it's going to be somewhere else. So the question is, so what he's doing right now is he's looking for that light. He's looking for those windows, trying to see if he can point, spot it out. And unfortunately, it is not exposed the portal room that is but the stronghold is so he's going to enter the stronghold and hopefully try to just find his way through into the portal room as quickly as possible and if he can't find it quickly this could be quite the run so as you can see he's continuing on here and he is in the stronghold at 11 minutes and 35 seconds he is going through he's going now he's out into the ocean again trying to find the best entrance here i like this actually going underneath so generally speaking if you don't see it on top there's a higher chance it's below so what he's doing is he's going underneath to try to go as low as possible and hopefully that he's his mindset should be well if it's not exposed on top it's probably below so that is very good indeed now, as you can see he finds a library now this means that this this path is cut off uh, i'm not going to get too into the way that strongholds generate but he's going to try to make his way back to the uh, entrance to the stronghold which is what he should be doing here i believe that is what he's going for and he's swimming out now and that is inter an interesting play he's i think he's still looking for that portal room exposed which i just I, it's not, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen to me but nonetheless he is entering once again at 12 minutes he's got plenty of time he's got five whole minutes to kill the dragon and that would be world record and now it looks like he's found the entrance to the stronghold, which generally can be a sign that he can, is close to the portal room. So he's digging to his left, he's digging to his right, and I like this, he's found the sort of blocked off area. Now this can mean that he found the part of the stronghold that he didn't find before, and there you can see he's found the portal. Wonderful. Uh, he's got a, is a one eye, which means that he's he's fine. He I mean, he had 13 eyes, so he was completely fine either way. But nonetheless, he's entering the end at 12 minutes and 58 seconds. This is a beyond god pace this is the uh, benix's amazing run that he um, that didn't work out in the end entered at 1450 and this is entering sub 13 i it's unbelievable i mean i didn't this is this is un, unreal this is unheard of like this is this is a crazy pace to be entering the stronghold but to be entering the end i mean this is a fine pace to be exiting the nether let alone entering the end i mean this is unbelievable i still cannot believe how crazy this run is nonetheless let's see if he can make this work he's got one more task he's got to kill the ender dragon he's got eight he's got seven beds on his hotbar here he's got an axe he's got his slabs i like using the slabs i will say generally speaking you want to be away from the portal but let's hope that he can just get a quick perch nonetheless the dragon is taking a little bit of time here to perch this is not ideal but can he get the i can he get the one cycle in i don't know we'll have to see he's got he's changed his axe out for the bed there this is looking very very good but the dragon is taking long to perch can he get a sub 15 time can he get world record i mean the dragon is known to sometimes take a long time to perch if you get quite unlucky this is not guaranteed to be world record also if he messes up the one cycle this is still not guaranteed to be world record so there's a lot of opportunity for him to to 
to get unlucky here or to mess something up. But as you can see, the dragon is beginning to perch. This is a sign. Now, it can leave this state sometimes, but this is a very good sign that the dragon's about to perch. As you can see, it's cycling around this tower. Oh, my goodness. And there we have the perch. The dragon perching at 1443. Will he get in the one cycle? I don't know. We'll have to see. The dragon's coming down low. The dragon is. There is the first bed. There is the second bed. We've got a third. This is going great so far. Great one cycle. We've got one more maybe. And there we have it. An amazing time at 15.05 in real time and the in-game time ending up at 14.56. What a run. What an absolute incredible run. I have never, I mean, this this time, if you entered the end at the time that he finished this run, this would be unbelievable. Well done to Corbanos. Once again, go check him out if you haven't already. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.